Hello and welcome to my review of Horizon Chase Turbo on the PS4. I've always been a big fan of driving games, growing up with arcade racers such as OutRun, Chase HQ and Road Blasters, through to the PC titles such as Screamer and the Need for Speed series, and into the console era of games such as Metropolis Street Racer, Project Gotham and the Burnout series. Whilst I do enjoy the realism of games such as Forza and Gran Turismo, I've always preferred the arcade style racing games and Horizon Chase Turbo falls into that category. Upon starting the game you're presented with an opening screen with a few basic playing modes available to you. Much like an arcade game, a few quick choices get you straight into the action so there's no messing about with car classes, suspension, tyre types or ride height. Gameplay itself is standard arcade racing fare, start from the back of the grid in each race, get to the front, cross the finish line ahead of the other cars. Controls are your standard arcade driving controls, accelerate, brake and turbo, along with analog controls for steering. Enter into a sharp turn and the steering effectively locks, pretty much like Outrun, and this gives the game the arcade feel when playing. Racing takes place across various countries, each having three circuits to compete in, and finishing first in all three of those races will reward you with a new car. On each track there's fuel canisters and race tokens to collect. Collect all the race tokens and finishing first rewards you with a super trophy, whilst the fuel canisters ensure you don't run out of fuel while racing. At the start the fuel isn't much of an issue but it becomes increasingly important as you progress through the game certain cars burn fuel quicker than the others and coupled with the tracks becoming increasingly longer your car choice for each track also plays a part. The sound in the game is fantastic, stood out to me the second I started playing. So good, ended up buying the OST album on Bandcamp. Soundtrack is by Barry Leach who is responsible for the music in both Top Gear on the SNES and Lotus Esprit Turbo on the Amiga. This soundtrack feels like a modern equivalent of 16-bit era tunes whilst brilliantly managing to sound new and fresh. Suits the game perfectly and really adds to the experience. Another great touch in this game is the use of the speaker in the PlayStation control pad. Sounds such as a token and fuel pickups and when the tank runs empty, play through the speaker and separating these from the game works really well. As you can see, the game is a nod to old school sprite based driving games such as Outrun and Lotus Esprit Turbo and Aquarius have kept a simplistic design whilst bringing the graphics into the modern age. I love the style of using large basic shaded polygons with modern lighting effects works really well and when you add this to the weather effects and the night racing you'll find that you're constantly being dazzled from one level to the next. One of my favourite levels being the Northern Lights where you're racing Reykjavik, a stunning level. If I had to make a complaint about the game it's just that it can sometimes feel a bit unfair but this is mainly down to the controls which have that old school heritage of the lock steering so occasionally you find yourself locked in hard turns without anywhere to go, meaning you either have to slow down or you risk going into the back of another car. Could argue that this adds to the skill and judgement of a driver and it does give you a sense of achievement when you actually successfully negotiate them, but some of these situations get frustrating on the narrow tracks. Contact also seems to favour the CPU controlled cars. You bump into another car here and most of the time you'll come off worse, so there's no squeezing your way through like you can with something like Gran Turismo or Forza, Overtaking these to clean and again keeping it skillful. Stay out of trouble. Overall, this game is superb. Aquarius have come up with a really great racing game that's pure arcade fun. Every time I've been writing this review, I've ended up going back to have another go on it. It's just so easy to pick up and just have a few quick races. Highly recommend getting hold of it. I was playing the PS4 edition for this review, but I'm going to be getting it on Switch as well, as it's just perfectly suited for that platform. So, that's the end of the video. I hope you found the review useful. As always, please feel free to comment on the video below, and thanks for watching.